In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the skin tone protection feature in Filmora. Now, let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see, I have a video here. I'm going to play this video so you guys can see what I have here. So we're going to be applying some effects to this video, and we're going to try to protect the skin tone here so that it's not affected by those effects that we're going to be applying. Now, as you can see here, if you click on the video, I have my video properties here. That's because I'm using uh, the classic mode layout, which is this first one here, the default, not the classic mode, but the default layout here. It's going to allow you to have uh, the video properties uh, panel here on the right side of the screen. Okay. All right, so to access this, is there's two ways to do this, right? So if you're gonna apply a LUT filter to this clip here, so let me go ahead and select the clip, and I'm gonna go over to my video properties here, go over to color, and if you look underneath uh, the LUT filter options here, you're gonna see that we have the option to select the LUT filter, but we also have skin tone protection here, right? Protect skin tones. Now, if I was gonna select uh, a filter like this one here, as you can see, the filters are applied to the entire video. So sometimes you don't want the person's skin tone to change. So what you can do here is you can actually increase the screen tone protection here. And it's going to go ahead and, you know, protect the skin tone. As you can see, it's, you know, getting back to its natural color here. If I put this at zero, this is how this would normally look. Let me go to zero. You can see that the, you know, this LUT preset has uh, covered the entire video. What you want to do is increase the screen tone protection so that you actually have the person's skin not to not be so that the person's skin is not affected with uh, the um, uh, the the uh, LUT preset here. Okay, now that's one way to do it if you're going to be using these uh, LUT presets. There's a number of these actually. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and reset everything here. Reset everything. Now, the second option is going to be you might not be applying a LUT preset here. So you obviously you're not going to be able to use it if you're not applying this. You know, you could be applying other things here, but you need to be uh, using a LUT preset in order to um, protect the skin tone here or to use this setting here. OK, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to my uh, video effects. And what you can do here, let's say I was going to apply, you know, an effect here. Let's go over to. Uh, one of these LUT effects here, or we could do, yeah, let's do this one. I'm going to go ahead and add this on top of the video. Now, one of the video effect properties here for this effect is going to be the opacity, and you also have protect skin tones here, okay? Now, you can apply it this way, right? So, some effects are going to have this, and some effects aren't going to have this. So, if I scroll down here, uh, let's go over to cinematic. Uh, let's do this one here. I'm going to go ahead and add this right here. As you can see, these do not have that ability. You're not going to be able to apply uh, the skin tone protection here. Okay. Now you can find effects that you're going to be able to apply. Now that is how you can apply a skin tone protection to, uh, to you know, on your videos in Filmora. It's really going to help as you are applying a lot of these filters and you're trying to make sure that the subject is still still looks natural and is still visible within the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.